Hello and welcome back to a new video. So today it's going to be a school supplies haul for the 2022-2023 school year. So let's get started. So obviously we're going to be in high school, so I'm going to be using my MacBook, which is from 2020. No, it does not have the M1. I know, sad. Doesn't surprise me. But you got to use what you have, and it works perfectly fine. It's fast, and it's perfect for. Next up is my favorite item of all my iPad Air. This is the fourth generation and I use this to do some of my assignments to plan digitally, draw some of my products for my Etsy, take my notes for school, do some homework on here, and it's just amazing. I love it. It's the best thing. Now to move on from my tech stuff of school, I decided to get a new pencil case um, because my old one was just breaking down, it was dirty, it was disgusting, and it was just not even worth keeping it. Um, this is just another green color, it has a pocket, sleeves for the pencils, and a bigger pocket that expands um, to keep a lot of stuff. Surprisingly, it holds all my pens, all my pencils, and it's just perfect. Now, to actually write this school year, <laughs> I decided to pick up these Papermate Clearpoint number two pencils. Yes, I got two packs, they were on sale, so I was not gonna miss out on them. And then, of course, I also did get the generic uh, up and up Target brand pencils. Those are just point seven. And as you can see, I'm specifically pointing to 0 0.5 because I will solely and only write in 0.5 pencils. Now, the 0.7 is the handout, so yeah. Now, for my favorite pen of all, it's the Muji Gel Point Pen in 0 0.5. Let me tell you, these pens are so smooth and so easy to write with. And now it is the Expo Marker. Um, I use these in school a lot, especially in math. To, like study with my friends on the whiteboard and actually solve out some problems so it's very useful I recommend getting one you can get a pack of four so yeah now is the actual highlighter I have multiple of these as you've seen in some of my videos like a lot of them but I just decided to show one because I was not gonna pull out all 25 markers to show you guys each different color i didn't think it was worth it and it just was not worth the time but these ones are dual ended and the fine point one is perfect for annotating and of course the chiseled the chiseled tip is the best for highlighting and um making titles and stuff like that next is my muji pens these are also in 0.5 I have a, I have these in other colors as well. They are so good. They write smooth. They don't get stuck on the paper and they don't bleed either. Only downside is that they do smudge once you go over it with highlighter. So you do have to let it dry out for a little bit. But yeah, I'll have these linked down below. Next is another one of my also favorite pens, but not so much. It's the Pilot Juice Pens in 0 0.38. I wish I had gotten in 0.5. I feel like they would write a lot smoother, but these do get the job done for writing small letters and doing finer details. Now, to actually erase those mistakes that I make with those pencils, I had to get a um wide out and of course i just got the mini one but i've had this since a while back and as well to erase the pencil um 
mistakes. I had to get a high polymer eraser, which I also had from follower following years as well. So yeah. Next up is actually the most colorful part, I wanna say, of my back to school supplies. And it's these post-it tabs or page markers. Um, of course, you can see all the colorful colors, I just wanna say, but they're just mostly for annotating books. Um, and this I had to get. These are transparent sticky notes. I never seen these before. But when I saw them, I had to get them because these would be perfect for um, redrawing stuff out in textbooks and yeah, perfect. Next is a mini stapler because the amount of times we've had to actually take packets apart in school, but then they tell us that we need to turn them in stapled, just it's unholy. Now, since I am taking AP classes this year, I did decide to pull out some index cards. I've had these for quite some time, I wanna say since eighth grade, and they just have been in the packaging, so I decided, okay, I'm taking AP classes, this should be fun, especially for AP language and composition. These SAT words, I'm going to need these index cards a lot, and I'm gonna be using and abusing Quizlet. <laughs> Next up, to hold all my papers and homeworks and stuff like that, I decided to get a four pack of these five star uh, recycled folders. When I saw this, it was like, okay, they're starting to become eco-friendly, which made me so happy because I do care about whether packaging is eco-friendly and whether the product itself is eco-friendly. And these are made of 100% recycled plastic, so very happy about that. Next, I had to get a binder, and of course, it's half inch because I'm never going to get anything bigger than one inch binders because it's too bulky, it's too much, and yeah. And I decided to just put some clear sheet protectors in there for my music because I'm not trying to get stuff damaged and reprint stuff. Now, yeah, I know, we're still in that phase. I can't say the word because I don't want my video getting taken down, but that's self-explanatory. <laughs> my Hydro Flask. No, I am not Visco, and if you say I am Visco, that is wrong. But I just had this from last year, and I'm just going to go ahead and reuse it because it's in good shape. And peep my little frog boba sticker. Maybe you should go check one out and buy one, you know, real aesthetic and cute. And now the worst fear of my all, <laughs> the calculator. Um, I am doing on level pre-calc and I'm doing honors physics. So I am definitely going to need this calculator a lot because, you know, I do not do well at math, but I will try my hardest as I do every single year. Now, I am not Manny unless I buy a new planner every single year and decorate it so this is just the blue sky planners and these are so great like the monthly view and the little lines just it helps me organize my thoughts and see my month at a glance and then the weekly uh spread it's big enough so i can actually write down notes put, put a sticky note write down little things and actually write a full to-do list for my homework and everything and they're all tabbed by month and it is just amazing I definitely recommend getting these and I'll have it linked down below. Now, of course, I am going to have to do some paper notes, which I am not very much excited for because I do mostly want to use my iPad, but of course, it's school. So you can't really do everything on um, the iPad, especially since it's high school. So I just have these two that I've had laying around. Now, I don't want to seem basic but these blue light glasses really do help i'm being so serious i'd recommend getting a pair because they are just going to save you i haven't had a headache when i'm working late at night or anything and it's just amazing <laughs> so now my favorite part of them all my phone this plays a big part in back to school because this is how i'm able to plan stuff 
quick and fast. So I use Notion on both my computer and my phone and it's just efficient, it works and I'm able to get everything done properly and I need my music. I need people to listen to music while I'm walking to school. And of course, in order to listen to that music, I need to have headphones. So I love using my AirPod Pros. They are amazing. They get the job done. Um, I've had these for a while and I have to say they are amazing. The noise canceling really does help when some kids in classes don't know how to, you know, quiet down a little bit. It just helps me focus. And final product, well not product, well supply, is a new backpack. So I saw these, uh, this company on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and they're popping up all over my feed. So I had to get it and it's called Brevity. The backpack is so spacious, it's amazing, it holds everything properly and the color is just amazing. So yeah. That's all my school supplies for the school year. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.